Here is Kristen Link from Southern Methodist University. Her 11th dive. She's a 5'7 freshman who grew up in Springfield, Virginia. And she moved from sixth place in round nine to fourth place in the last round. And there's only seven points between Kristen and the second place right now. She is in fourth place. It's a reverse two and a half somersaults tuck, 2.7 degree of difficulty. continue to move her up. She missed the dive in the preliminaries earlier, but she doesn't miss it this evening. This is a beautiful dive. Look at the way she goes in the water. So vertical without an arch in her back, and the takeoff is very bold. Her knees just slightly separated in the air, but the dive is worth a lot of points, maybe even some eights. Mostly seven and a half and an eight, a total of 60.75 for Kristen Link. Here is Dana Bly from Alabama, 21 years old, the SEC record holder for the platform event. Third in this event last year, so she's got some experience. And she's terrific. She's going to do a forward three and a half somersault tuck. Again, this contest is so tight. There's only 10 points separating second place and sixth place. Dana currently in sixth place running forwards down the platform and spinning around three and a half times to see the water out in front of her for hopefully a vertical entry without a splash. It's a good dive. She could have been tighter in her tuck. She was grabbing the top of her knees in her tuck. That's a little bit dangerous because sometimes when you grab up there, your hands can slip off the knees and you can come out of the tuck, but she handles it very well. I think she could have received higher scores by grabbing lower around her ankles and getting in a tighter tuck, but it's a beautiful dive. The, the, the women are diving very nicely. Sevens and seven and a half, a total of 59.40. And now here is Stanford's Megan Gardner, the NCAA runner-up on platform Megan a year ago. And her 11th round dive, next to last dive, is an inward two and a half somersault pike. Now she hit the three meter springboard with her head in this NCAAs. And this is another inward spinning somersault. You can believe she's going to jump it back far enough not to scare herself and not to hit that ponytail on the platform either. She didn't jump back too far, which is the tendency after you hit the board on something. And she hit the springboard yesterday, grazed the top of her head. But look at the verticalness of this dive. And the way she goes after the jump is very impressive. It's, it's so important to jump high off the platform, even though you're way up in the air. Good scores for Gardner, seven and a halfs and eights, a total of 65.80. Miami's Tammy Christensen up next, recently turned 22 years old, the four-time Big East platform champion. Tammy's doing an inward two and a half somersault pike also, the one we just saw Megan Gardner do. And she was in second place after the last round, so she needs to surpass 529 points to keep herself in second place because Megan Gardner moved into second place. That dive wasn't as good as Megan Gardner's. One reason was because the jump wasn't as relaxed and as high off the platform. And the other reason was the entry into the water. See where she went down instead of up as she left the platform? And the entry, look the splash going in the water. That will probably prevent her from getting sevens on this dive. Yes, just below sixes, uh, ranging up to one seven, 53.20 for Tammy Christensen. Laura Wilkinson, freshman from Spring, Texas, 1997 Big 12 Conference champion on platform. She has been diving beautifully. Laura really hasn't missed a dive throughout the preliminaries or the first two rounds of the finals. This is a reverse two and a half somersault tuck. It's one of her best dives. Oh, 
That was definitely a, a miss. It was a break in position. As she kicked out of the dive, she loosened her knees, bent her knees, and I've never seen Laura do this before. Incredible. She kicked out too early. She realized it, and then she bent her knees because it scared her. It's almost as if I don't want to land on my back. Unfortunate for Laura Wilkinson and very uncharacteristic. Very low scores. Two and a half up to four and a half. 33.75. So a disappointing dive for Laura Wilkinson. But Wilkinson still in the lead. We'll be back with more after this. The NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We are set for the start of the final round, the 12th dive. SMU's Kristen Link, Lincoln Olympic trials finalist in 1996, and she needs a good dive here. She does. She's only 10 points out of second place. She's doing the same dive that many of the competitors are doing in the last round, a back one and a half with two and a half twist. It's a 2.8 degree of difficulty. She's dived beautifully throughout the finals, the best of any competitor. She has received sevens and eights on every dive she's done and has moved up from sixth to third place. That's gonna continue to help her. She puts the pressure on second place Megan Gardner, who is yet to go by doing a dive like this. Again, receiving seven and a halves and eights, and it's because the rip entry is so dramatic. You see those wrist supports because there's a lot of force as she goes in the water. So good numbers for SMU's Kristen Link. A total of 64-40 as she hugs her coach, Jim Stilson. Next up, Dana Bly from Alabama. Dana, 52. 21 years old. Her final dive is a back one and a half somersault with three and one half twists. This is the most difficult dive that's being performed. It's above that magic 3.0 degree of difficulty. It's 3.2. So much twisting in this dive, and it's so difficult to keep this dive square with your legs together because of all that force twisting around three and a half times. Take off. The jump was bold. It was assertive. Ooh, I saw her feet cross just as she left the platform. That's what I'm talking about. It's so difficult. Watch this. The feet are crossed in the air. But look, as she goes in the water, she gets them back together. She's very astute at realizing, well, my feet are twisting the other way from my body and I need to get them back together. It's a good dive for a 3.2 degree of difficulty. Six and a half for Dana Bly, 62.40 total. Now here is Stanford's Megan Gardner. Megan's last dive was a back one and a half somersault with two and a half twist. And she has an opportunity to go right into second place here ahead of Kristen Link if she does this dive for sevens. A couple seven and halves would help, but she was 10 points ahead of Kristen Lee after the last round. Oh, she went over, she got excited. She's still gonna contribute points to Stanford's overall total, but I think it was just a little more adrenaline than she needed. All she really wanted to do was stretch for the water out in front of her, and she reaches straight down underneath her just slightly too much. And again, that somersault goes just slightly past vertical. That's over rotating on the one and a half. Five, five up to 6.5, 50, 40 for Megan Gardner. That will bring us to Tammy Christensen of the University of Miami. Tammy. Tammy is doing another back twister. Like I said, it's a very popular last dive to do. We call it a fairly safe dive because you do see the water before you enter it, not like a back or reverse spinning where you don't see it in the direction that you're spinning until right before you enter it. After she completes the two and a half twist, she will see the water in front of her. I've seen. Very 
good. Kristen Link did a beautiful one, and so has Tammy Christensen. This may put her right into third place because, as we know, Laura Wilkinson, the leader, has not gone yet. But this is a terrific back twister. She's probably just going to be behind Kristen Link because Kristen had some points on her going into this round. But look at this tightness going in the water. Great stretch. She has those wrist supports on because of the force, the impact. Good scores for Tammy Christensen. 63 points on that dive. So now it will be up to Laura Wilkinson from the University of Texas. Laura, 52, and all she needs to win the NCAA title as a freshman is 36 point Two one points. That's all she needs. That translates to about threes and a halves and fours on the dive. And she does this dive beautifully. That's great. Now she had a little bit of trouble in the finals. I've got to say, it looks like nerves to me. I don't really know what's going on with Laura because, of course, I'm not there. But it's a beautiful dive and it's going to win the championship for her. And I love. Like I said, the boldness that Laura dives with is very, very beautiful. And there's her coach, Matt Scoggin, giving her a hug. I'd rather do it. Texas won all three diving events. Seven up to eight, Laura Wilkinson from Texas wins the championship. Here's a look at the final results. And let's go down to the deck. Mary Waite is with the winner. Thanks, Chris. I'm with Laura Wilkinson. Laura, winning this event as a freshman, what does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot. Um, I wanted to help the team. I know we've been kind of down, and um, I hope this is going to help the relay. And um, I don't know, it's kind of exciting, you know, in front of the family and everything. It's... And Matt, you've had a sweep, the 1, 3, and 10 meter. What does that mean to you as a young coach? Everything just fell in place. I mean, everything that we asked for went right like we asked for it. And Laura is one of a kind. Uh, she made a couple of errors tonight, but she had a morning that would be hard for anyone to beat. She has a fantastic future. Congratulations. Thank you. So the University of Texas dominating the diving events.